New Japan's Battle Formation 96 show was uh, last week at the Tokyo Dome and drew the second largest crowd and gate in Japanese wrestling history at 65,000 fans and nearly $6 million. The the show ended with, and this is the only part of the story, it's like I included it because it's the main event, but I'm like, I don't know who these guys are. The show ended with uh, Shinya Hashimoto winning the IWGP title from Hiko Takata. I'm just going to say Takata. I, I don't know how to pronounce his first name. But the Road Warriors made their return to New Japan Pro Wrestling and defeated the Steiners clean. Road Warrior Animal got a huge reaction after being gone for so long. This was, yeah, man, were they still in WCW at this point or had they left? I think they had left. Okay. Uh, definitely before going back to WWE. Uh, great uh, stop. That's, yeah, well, they they were returned before WrestleMania so 13, so oh, it's okay. coming soon. Wow. I did not realize that. Okay. Uh, great Sasuke won the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title from Ah, Sasuke. Liger. He's actually really good. I know who he is. Yeah. Uh, Antonio Inoki brought out Dan Severn and announced that he would be joining New Japan Pro Wrestling. Honestly, that's a perfect place for him because he doesn't have to say a damn word. <laughs> I I can't remember who it was. It might have been. You don't need to talk when you got a mustache like that, all right? Oh, I know, right? The baddest mustache on the planet. I think Even it was Tom Selleck was jealous, dude. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I think it was Jim Cornette that used the the used the phrase that said he had a personality of a UPS truck. <laughs> I, and I mean, probably he, hit you as hard as one too. So. Oh well, for sure. Yeah, I mean he's a badass. He's just he has no personality. Uh, Lex Luger and Randy Savage also worked the show, and their two matches were the two worst of the show, according to Uncle Dave. Oh, so because that means they were probably they were. decent. Yeah, right. I was like, by whose standards? Like. You're not going to bring Lex Luger over there and have a Japanese style match. I honestly, uh, it's just my theory, but I think he's always been jealous of Luger's body. I don't so know what it is. I know he fancies himself a, a, a you know, a fitness guru, or just because he's always in good shape. Can't take yeah. that away. From and like right. he doesn't like Luger. Oh, I mean, come on. I mean, it doesn't take a genius. Well, my thing, like, and it's not just Uncle Dave. All of the dirt sheet guys absolutely hate Luger. They've never said a positive thing about him. Oh, he only got reactions when this, or nobody ever cared about him because of that. It's like, what the, like, really? Like, I've, most of the people I've talked to that were just, like, regular wrestling fans, not the hardcore nerds, like, most of them remember and remember Lex Luger fondly. I know, I do. He never once had a five-star match, but that's not what you paid him for. He had some decent matches, but eh, no, nobody tuned in. How to watch many five-star uh, Hulk Hogan matches were there in Madison Square Garden? Yeah, I right. I mean, well, the thing is, nobody tuned in to watch the Lex Luger match because they thought he was going to tear the house down. I mean, for <laughs> come on. Same with Hulk Hogan. Nobody was like, man, this one's going to just like, Goldberg. wow. Yep, exactly. I mean, this is uh, the second. Not to be one of those, but I was like, dude, okay, uh, Uncle Dave, get your ass in there and show us how it's done then. I really want someone, one of these wrestlers to say that to him. Oh, That's but, like yeah. high opinions of what it should be. Let's see him get his ass in there and do it. Yeah. 